part three of that's the stuff I don't like. And I'm going to go keep going back to this because this it was some stuff. And I'm telling you, I don't like Big Sean, Chief, uh, Katie, JD Kiss, and Pusha T, all that. You know what? I, I like y'all. Yes, I do because sometimes y'all talk some real stuff. And we can separate this, the stuff you don't like into something else that you do like. That's real. And I, I like life. But I like some of the stuff in life. That's the stuff I don't like. But back to this. This shirt. This shirt belonged to me. I got a loan from school. I was uh, working on a master's, crazy. Need a break, grow. A uh, whole lot of issues with me. I don't want to get into it because you know what? That's the type of stuff I don't like to talk about. Life is real, though. And all I can say is you got to walk through that stuff. There are no easy ways out. And I, like my mom say, too vain to do all of that uh, murder thing, kill myself. That's something else. And I, I'm a child of life here. Yeah. I like that. I think God put me here for a moment. It's just a moment. Just a moment. But this is, it's a life. Sometimes you got to hide your life. But you know what? It's still shining. You still see it? I see it. This is the, this is the example. Dream. O Obama, I heard Melissa Harris, Perry Harris, MSNBC, said one morning. She explained what a hollow dream was. Our president that got a hollow dream. He became the president of the United States. He was the first to do so many things in his presidency, but don't nobody want to acknowledge that. But he's a gift. He's a vision. He's something that was prophecy. It's written. Don't be mad about it. You get mad about, uh, I live next door to some Arab guys. I don't have a problem with them. I know they do like that Atari. They would tag some uh, visitors. Y'all know y'all be on that. Uh, not Atari. You know I'm old. But y'all know those games. I, I don't have no games. I need to get, get my baby a, a game and say, y'all figure her out. But one day. One day. But that's they will tag them and take them out. That's what the, the enemy does. He comes to take our dreams, our visions, and to stop growth. Mitt Romney is a liar. We say, where did that come from? Well, he's running. I'm talking about the president. I, I am endorsing him because he stands with so many people, so many people who would otherwise stand to lose the quality of their life, and so many others that would actually, actually, I can't even say it because it's true, actually die. And it stems not only from Medicaid, it stems it, it, Medicare and uh, all of that. It, it doesn't have nothing to do, have nothing to do with women, women's right to live. It's the core person. Because if you can run for office, and I really didn't pay attention to him until last year. And you tell me he's been running for six years, something come on. And then you got these trillionaires. We're the little guys, and some of us have serious problems, and we have dreams. We got hopes and aspirations for people and loved ones, and the little ones that are coming up, children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. Talked to my friend Sandy online. I told her, "Girl, you are so much like your mother." I remember. Didn't know a long time, but I knew being. That's why I like body work, because you got to know people core. Cool. And sometimes people core is here. And see, I'm being real. I moved up like I was going to be mean, didn't I? But I'm not. But they're here. They're in their face, and you see them. And then you would rather talk to somebody who want to be real personal with you from here. That's the stuff I don't like. I don't like it. Sometimes you're hurting anybody. I don't like that. But you push through. And I'm asking everybody. I'm taking a risk. I'm speaking out tonight. Do something. Vote. Vote. Make sure you, you ask people, are you voting? Do you need to vote? Let's find out where to vote. And tonight, I challenge you. Make a $3 or $5 contribution. 
Just call. Just go to Obama's website. I'm gonna put a link on here for that too. That's what I want you to do for me. I don't have a lot of money. And uh, I got issues in my life. And he said, well, it's going to be over in a minute. But you know what? Do you know they probably got some stuff for us to see? And I love Joe Biden. Joe Biden is, he's that, that teacher, that uncle, that brother, that father, that grandfather. He did, the dude next door is just cool with everybody. And you know what? When he's witty, he's not insensitive. But when he needs to make his point, he's direct and blunt. That's the stuff I like. That's the stuff I like about Obama. He ain't lying. Truth ain't never lied. Truth ain't never told no lie. No lie. Look at That's that street stuff. That, that, that you don't like. I like it. Because you know what? The streets are talking. And we ain't even sitting out there. November 2nd, is it? First Tuesday of November? Get there. And don't you do nothing. And I'm shaking, yeah. I need my medicine. <laughs> don't even laugh at that. But, um. Oh. Let me say, BET says. Oh, like your life depends on it. Well, don't. Ain't no light.